What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we got the Integra, the $1,000 race car back in the shop. Um, I've got a new engine for it, new used. Got it as cheap as possible, I picked it up for 150 bucks. So, we're gonna start ripping this motor out of here. And we're gonna get to dropping in the new used one, which doesn't look too great, but for 150 bucks, hopefully it will make it for 300 laps so yeah we're gonna get to uh, pulling this thing out finish up the motor swap we're gonna do the first uh, fire on it and see if everything works see if the motors any any good uh, got the motor super cheap don't know much about it so I guess we're gonna find out Guess the motor works, so that's a good sign. Uh, no funny noises or anything like that. So uh, we're just gonna go over it again, check for leaks, and then probably change the oil or and get that all uh, good to go. And then start going on to the other items on the checklist and uh, get this thing race ready. We're out here at Massive in Spring Grove, one of our sponsors. Does a lot of the focus stuff. He's doing a Duratec, uh, 2.5 swap and the Project Stranger here. But uh, he helps us out quite a bit with parts and stuff like that. So we're gonna uh, swap over some tires. Um, used up a couple of the ones that I had last race. So we're just gonna get a couple swapped over. 
and uh, then we'll be all set for the race on Saturday. All right guys, so just for a little bit of fun, we're gonna take the valve cover off this uh, old engine here that overheated and uh, just kinda get an idea of what happened. I think part of the problem was, I don't know if this thermoset housing here has a crack or something somewhere, but it looks like it's been leaking coolant for a really long time. Um, one of the hoses that we fixed after we put it together, I thought that was probably the problem, but maybe there was another one and we didn't catch it. Not really sure on that, but we're going to pull this uh, valve cover off and check out the damage. Yeah, so there's some of the uh, carnage. Broken camshaft, pretty pretty gnarly. And uh, rocker arms off and a bunch of shrapnel down in there. Good times, so when you race cars, inevitably you break stuff. So yeah, this guy's uh, definitely done. Uh, maybe the bottom end is okay, I don't know. I'd have to take it all apart, probably not gonna do that, but. Just figured I'd show you guys some of the carnage. You know, if you race, you're bound to break stuff. So, uh, lucky I scored that new engine for so cheap. And, uh, seems to be working fine. But, it's kind of a shame, too. This thing, the kit I got it from said it was rebuilt. It looks pretty clean in here, other than the uh, stuff up front. So, kind of a shame, but that's racing. And, uh, car's back together now. So, it's all good.
yeah, just figured I'd show you guys, so thanks for watching. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up part one of the second attempt at the $1,000 race car build. So uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the uh, attempt number two race. And if you're already subscribed, thanks for subscribing, and uh, catch you in the next one.